right, second grade, welcome to our <clears throat> virtual counseling lessons. We're going to be doing second step lesson two on focusing our attention and listening. So, we are continuing second step lessons and we will be doing them every week. Last week was all about respect. This one is about focusing attention and listening. Remember some examples of respectful behavior are listening, paying attention, and being polite. If you agree, give me a thumbs up. Awesome. When you listened to me, you showed so much respect. This is going to be extra important while doing virtual learning at home. We're gonna play a game called Sentence Switcheroo. For this game, you are going to need to stand up. So go ahead and do that to get started. Learning is exercise for your brain. You're going to play games called Brain Builders to build the parts of your brain that pay attention. Listen and remember, today's game is called Sentence Switcheroo. So listen to me as I read a sentence twice. The rule one is if you hear more than one word that are different, the second time I read it, you sit down. If there is no words that are different, you stay standing. Let's play. So I'm going to say... Learning is exercise for my brain. Learning is exercise for the heart. So those two were different. Learning makes my brain smarter. Learning makes my brain work harder. Did I say the same thing? Nope, I said different ones. Everyone deserves a chance to learn. Everyone deserves a chance to learn. Very good. Awesome job. So now we're ready to move on. This is our story today. So um, skills are things that you do to help you learn. You, you practice skills and get better. What skills helped you focus to be um, in the game today? You had to listen, you had to remember, and you had to pay attention to the words I was saying. Very good. So this is a KO. AKO doesn't focus her attention or listen carefully when the teacher told her the class and the class what materials they need for their art project. Now AKO doesn't know what to do. So how do you think AKO feels? Show a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you've ever you know, felt sad, worried, or frustrated. Very good. So everyone can learn skills to focus their attention and listen. Before you can listen, you must focus your attention. Show a thumbs up if you've ever forgotten to focus your attention and listen carefully like a KO. It's happened to all of us. So I think she's probably feeling worried, frustrated, sad because she feels like she's going to miss out. So everyone can learn skills to focus their attention and listen. Before you can listen, you must focus your attention. Now we're going to practice our skills. Let's pretend you're okay and practice. So we're going to practice using this chime sound effect. So I want you to listen to this chime. So I want you to focus your attention on this chime. Concentrate, put all your attention on this chime so you're really using just your ears. Use your ears, eyes, and brain to hold your focus there. Tell yourself to ignore all other distractions, like other things you see in here that could pull your attention away. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna play the chime and I want you to focus all of your attention on the chime sound. When I hit the chime, listen for as long as you can. When you don't hear it anymore, raise your hand and um, I'm going to continue to do it, okay? So, very good. So, we practice focusing our attention on the chime. You guys did a great job of focusing your attention onto the chime. 
we're going to practice our skills again. Think about some things that you could do while virtual learning at home and to be a respectful listener. So these are rules of a digital classroom. So let's go ahead and watch. Would you like something to eat? No, thank you. I'm doing my schoolwork. Awesome. So we saw a little bit about how to kind of be a leader and um, to put first things first, to check your assignments, to do your assignments first. So work first, then play. So um, very good. So I want you to think about ways that Akayo could be more successful next time. What are some things that she could do so that she could be a better listener? Could she focus her attention? Could she be listening? Right? So these are all things that we can all do and some things that Okeo can do to be a better listener. We can focus our attention and we can be good listeners. When Akeo fo focuses her attention on the teacher and listens to the directions, she listens, she remembers what she hears, and she thinks of questions to ask. These skills for learning help her to stay focused and to be a better learner. Now we're going to listen to the Be a Learner song. Listen to Be a Learner. This time, whenever you hear the word listen, put your hand on your ear. Whenever you heard the word attention, put your hand on your brain. All right. Come on, listen now. Be respectful. Yeah, yeah. Be skillful. Yeah, yeah. Be a learner. to school to learn where well, there's lots of things to see and do so make the most of it the power inside of you focus attention listen with your ears eyes and brain use your self-talk be assertive and you will gain the lesson is starting up your eyes and ears are focused in when someone starts to talk Show your respect by listening. Focus attention. Listen with your ears, eyes, and brain. Use your self-talk. Be assertive and you will gain. Be respectful. Yeah, yeah. Be skillful. Yeah, yeah. Be a learner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be respectful. Be skillful. To ask assertively, focus attention, listen with your ears, eyes, and brain. Use your self talk, be assertive, and you will gain. Be respectful, yeah, yeah. be skillful, yeah, yeah. be a learner.
Awesome. So now we're going to listen to a story on Why Should I Listen by Mike Gordon. Welcome to Social Sprouts Story Times, new series on listening. In this series, you'll learn why listening is important and how to do it so you don't miss important information and so that others know that you are listening. The first book in the series is Why Should I Listen? This book is written by Claire Llewellyn, and this book is illustrated by Mike Gordon. In this book, we'll meet a boy who discovers that he is not a good listener. You'll see how not hearing what people say affects him. Follow along to see if he changes his ways to use whole body listening. Before we open the book, let's look at the cover. What's happening? The girl is screaming, trying to tell the boy about the spider near him, but he is not listening. He's watching TV. Now let's see what happens inside of the book. I can hear wonderful things when I really listen. A beautiful songbird, a grasshopper on the lawn, or the crunch of freshly fallen snow. Sometimes I find it hard to listen. It's often when I'm really busy watching TV. Can you please answer that door? Playing with friends? Let the dog in, Joe. What is Joe doing that's keeping him from listening? Let's look at the first picture. What is he doing? He's watching TV. How about in the second picture? He's playing with a cat with his friend. In both pictures, his eyes are not on the person speaking to him, and his body is turned away. Diving for sunken treasure? Joe, come out of the bath now! Or flying a rocket to the moon? Are you joining us for gym, Joe? What is Joe doing in these pictures? He is pretending in both. In the first picture, he is pretending to dive to find treasures. And in the second picture, he is pretending to be an astronaut. Again, he is not looking at the person talking to him. Look at this picture. His body is turned forward instead of to the side so he can face his teacher. Why is it important to turn towards the person talking to you? To show that you are listening to them. People often call this whole body listening. Can you guess all the body parts involved in whole body listening? I'll give you a clue. It starts from the top of your head down to your feet. That's right. Your head, shoulders, and feet need to face the person you're listening to. Your eyes should be on the person too. And your mouth should be quiet so you can hear them. Some people ask, why should I listen? Well, not listening can get you into trouble. What do you think happened when I went to the museum and I didn't listen to my teacher? Everyone back here at 3 p.m., please. Is Joe using whole body listening here? His body is sort of facing his teacher, but how about his eyes? Are they looking at him? No, it looks like he's looking at something on the ground. What do you think will happen? Let's find out if you're right. Help! Where is everybody? Did you guess he would get left behind? Looks like you were right. How does Joe feel? He looks terrified. 
And what do you think happened at Isabel's party? Because I didn't hear a word she said. Cool. We're all going to the pool. Remember to bring your bathing suit. Is Joe using whole body listening here? No. How do you know? His body and eyes are turned away from the group, and he is commenting about the kids skateboarding. Also, part of listening is being part of the group. I see Isabel talking to a group of friends about the party, but Joe is not close to her. If you have done the Circle of Friendship activity from the Personal Space series, you know that Joe should be closer to Isabel, like the other friends around her. What do you think will happen to Joe at the party? Let's find out. Luckily, we have a spare bathing suit. Wow, it's you. And just the right size, too. Do you want some string, Joe? Did you guess that Joe would not bring a swimsuit? You were right. He had to borrow one. Does it fit him? No, it is way too big. How does he feel about wearing the swim trunks? He looks shocked and probably a bit embarrassed. How about his friend's comments? Are they being serious? Are they telling the truth? No, they are not. They are teasing him a bit, being sarcastic. And guess what happened to my sister last summer when I didn't listen to my mom? Watch Laura for me, Joe. Is Joe using whole body listening here? No, he isn't. How do you know? His body and eyes are turned away from his mother, and he didn't respond. Let's see what happens. Joe, look at Laura. Is that better, darling? Oh, no. Since Joe wasn't listening, he didn't know his sister was behind him, and he's burying her in the sand. Luckily, his mom comes back fast. How does Joe feel about what has happened? It looks like he feels a little guilty or ashamed. I hate it when people don't listen to me. It makes me feel lonely. Can I have a turn? And invisible. Six frosted donuts, please. Excuse me. I told them the concert finished at 3 p.m. Or is interested in my life. I had a terrible day today. Oh, did you, dear? Joe thinks about times when he felt he wasn't listened to and the feelings he had. He had a lot of uncomfortable feelings. Think about a time when you felt you weren't listened to. How did you feel? I wonder if others felt that way when Joe wasn't listening. Think back to the beginning of the book. How do you think his mom felt when she told him to answer the front door? Or when he was told to let the dog in the house and he wasn't listening? People were probably frustrated with him. Just like Joe felt no one thought about him or was interested in him. Hmm... Now that Joe knows how he feels when he isn't listened to, I wonder if he'll think about how others feel when he isn't listening to them. Will it change how he acts? Let's see. So now when someone is talking, I try very hard to listen. Who can bring something for the nature table? Great, Joe. Thank you. It means that I usually get things right. Is Joe showing whole body listening in this picture? Yes, 
Yes, he is. Look, his whole body is facing the teacher. His head, eyes, and shoulders. And because he is listening, he does bring something for the nature table. Joe brings a mouse, and although it's something from nature, I'm not quite sure that's what the teacher meant. But he is trying. How does Joe feel now? You're right. He looks happy and proud that he's able to participate in class. And I pick up the things that I need to hear. Watch the wet paint, Joe. You need your gym shoes tomorrow. Don't let the cat out, Joe. Buy yourself some ice cream. Here's the money. Yes, Mom. Joe is using his listening skills everywhere now. And because he's listening, he avoids getting paint on him and remembers his shoes for gym class. I'm happy he remembered his shoes so he didn't have to borrow from a friend again like he did with the swim trunks. And because he is listening, he keeps his cat safely in the house. And he doesn't miss out on ice cream treats. Yummy. Good job listening, Joe. Awesome. So I want you to practice using your listening skills at home and being respectful. I had a great time with you today. I hope to see you again next week. Bye.